<laughs> today I am going to the orthodontist and I've got my fingers crossed that today will be the day that I take my braces out but I just wanted to take you guys along on the journey just in case I take my braces out but anyway yeah so I'm on the way now it's nine o'clock my appointment is at 11 yeah it's, guys my face is literally going through the absolute most i don't look very put together right now when i went hiking i got the worst sunburn and my face is still recovering so please don't look at me and think that or in fact don't ask yourself what's going on with my face i have really bad sunburn and a rash so now my face is but anyway, so yeah guys, I will, in fact, I actually have to go fetch my sister first because she wants to come with me and she actually wants to go for a consultation to get braces, but I will see you guys at the orthodontist. Yeah. I have no idea why there's so much traffic and I'm, I'm supposed to be getting on this highway right now. Heck, take. I wonder if there's like an accident or something. Why are you gonna traffic again? Like? Guys, like it goes all the way to the back, 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 back. So I'm at home now waiting for my sister to come out. I called her like 10 minutes before I got here. She's wasting my time. I am actually so late because of the traffic. I don't know what was going on, but hey, like it was really bad. But anyway, for my sister now and then I'll be on my way okay I've got a journey so yeah guys So apparently, um, I might actually have to take my braces out my next appointment because they're fully booked today, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Down is that possible? guys um i managed to get a bit of snippets while they were taking my braces out if you guys watched my last video you would know that the lady that does my braces doesn't allow for us to use our phones inside which i don't know why but anyway so um i got my braces taken out today it is today's thursday it's the 27th um i'm gonna go pick up my retainer on So when I go pick up my retainer on Tuesday, she said, like, cause she, I don't know, man, it was just kind of, I didn't get to do everything because of time. So when I go fetch my retainer, I'm gonna get the rest of the glue scraped off of my teeth. I'm gonna get a bit of filing done because I mean, I've got like, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm gonna get some filing done on my teeth, scrape off the rest of the glue that's on there. I think I might go for whitening as well, but yeah, I'm getting my retainer on Tuesday, but it feels really weird not having my braces in. And Loki, I don't know how I feel. At first, I felt really ugly because I feel like I've got like fat teeth. But I think it's just because I'm not used to not having braces because I've had my braces for like five years almost. And I was actually only supposed to have them for a year and a half, but I never used to go for my for my. For my appointments to like change my elastics and all that stuff but i mean i'm kind of i'm happy about it <laughs> i'm happy that i've got them out but it just feels weird and i low-key felt like i looked kind of ugly but anyway yeah so 
I might do like a little chit chat about my experience with my braces over the five years once I get my retainer but yeah basically that is Hey guys, yeah, what made my mask dirty? Anyway, hey guys, so today is Tuesday, the 1st of September. Um, uh, I got my braces taken out on the 27th, which is last week Thursday. I'm back today to come and get the glue removed from my teeth and to pick up my retainer. And then I'm just gonna do that and then when i get back home i'll probably just like talk to you guys a bit about my retainer and how the entire process went because i wasn't able to show you guys everything while it was happening but yeah i'm here now so i'm just gonna do that real quick and then i'll see you guys later hey guys so ash it's a couple of days later and as you guys know i got my braces taken out on the 27th of august it's been like basically a week now that i've had them out so i just wanted to let you guys know about the my experience of having had my braces and showing you guys the retainer that i got basically nothing extravagant but anyway so i had my braces for five years okay well it, was, it's gonna, it would have been five years in november but i wasn't actually supposed to have my braces for five years I had my braces for five years because I was not consistent with going for my appointments every six weeks. So initially when I got my braces put in in 2015, they had said that I was going to have my braces for a period of 18 months, which would have been a year and a half. My teeth weren't that bad, guys. I promise you. I just had like, so I had like crowding. I'm going to try and insert a picture of how my teeth were prior to getting my braces so like i had a lot of not that i had a lot of teeth but like i've got a small mouth so my teeth couldn't grow straight or properly so i had to get teeth taken out so i had two teeth taken out at the top and two taken out at the bottom to make space for my teeth to shift basically so they had said that i was gonna have my braces for a year and a half but you're good sis <laughs> was like uh no sorry so i remember so i got my braces put in on in sometime in november 25th. oh no i'm lying i initially got my braces put in in ethiopia in fact and they had put in the braces at the top but obviously because i don't live in ethiopia I, had to, I came back home and i had to find someone that would um carry out my treatment i found someone she then put in the braces that were at the bottom and she confirmed that i would have to have my braces for 18 months so i initially got the top braces put in like i think june and then the bottom ones went in in november so i got my braces put in then i had an appointment in january which would have been january 2016 i went to my appointment and then i moved to Johannesburg for school and it was just downhill from there like I was never consistent with my appointments I think for a good two years I went to my I, I went to go see my orthodontist like twice so I'd literally go twice a year to go see my orthodontist and I was actually supposed to go every six weeks so then I ended up having to have my braces in for five years so i only started going to my appointments consecutively last year when was it last year they might have been like june july started going there like like clockwork jesus these construction people yeah basically 
properly i was saying so i started becoming more consistent with my appointments i went every six weeks up until my very last appointment so like i said i got my bruises taken out on the 27th i picked up my retainer on the 1st of september so yeah my personally i still feel very weird not having my braces in but like i mean i mean i don't know man but like yeah i still feel very weird but like it's growing on me and in the five years that i did have my braces like <laughs> guys let me tell you please go for your appointments so i missed like i didn't go for my appointments to the point where like gaps started opening where i never had gaps like i had gaps for like right here i had a gap here mind you these were gaps that weren't there in the beginning so again i'll try to insert a picture of the gaps that started opening while because i didn't go for my appointments basically so please go for your appointment guys like unless you want to find yourself having like gaps everywhere like it was the ghetto like i literally even stopped smiling because it was like bad so yeah and like other like the, the one thing that i really hated about having my braces was also like sometimes like i'd wake up with like um i don't know if i should call it a blister or what but then like i'd have like sores every now and then if like i slept a certain way i might I, um, i'd have cuts sometimes okay well it wasn't really cuts but like irritation vibes and it should used to be so painful but i mean there's wax that you can put on your on your brackets for that type of stuff but like that whole thing of constantly having to buy wax sometimes is just like such a drag and it wouldn't happen like all the time so now i'd sometimes like buy wax and not use the thing for like months and it, ugh. but anyway that was the no that was something that i found very irritating also braces are really not that painful the only time that you ever feel discomfort is when every time you go for an appointment and they change the elastics on your braces and it's not that it's not necessarily like a pain it's more like pressure to the point where like it even makes your like teeth sensitive and you're unable to eat i mean you can eat but like it's it's very uncomfortable but anyway so i want to show you guys my retainer it came in this green little thing right i mean personally i wish i could have picked a color but i mean i'm not mad at it so normally what they do is put in a permanent retainer at the bottom right like here normally but I don't have that so instead i've got a top retainer and a bottom retainer so these are my retainers i hope you can see this is my retainer okay well, my retainers so um it's basically kind of like an invisalign this is literally like what it looks like i don't know if you guys can see this but this is what my retainer looks like this is the bottom retainer and this is the top retainer this is what it looks like i don't know if you guys can actually see but i'm hoping that you guys get the point so you literally just pop let me show you guys i think i can put this in I mean, you can, sh like, first of all, it's hard to speak. I mean, it's not that hard, but pop in the bottom one as well, just to show you guys. Mm. Ah. Okay, I'm not going to put... Ish. That's very disgusting, like saliva comes out. But I'm not going to put... The, I've been having trouble putting in the bottom retainer. It's not as easy as putting the top one in. So I literally, like, have to maneuver it, like, four or five times before I can put it in properly. But I think it's just because I'm not used to putting it in. And it's not as easy as putting the top one in. 
but anyway these things are low-key like not the ghetto but they're the ghetto because like saliva builds up inside the like retainer like literally i don't I, you guys just didn't see it when i pulled this um this bottom retainer out saliva literally dripped but you guys didn't see that even now so let me just take this out because i'm talking like a crazy person mm. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that but anyway so i have to wear my retainer she said three times a week i don't have to put it in every night but i wear it every night because i'm afraid that my teeth might shift i've had pe i know people whose teeth have shifted because they weren't wearing the retainers the way that they're supposed to i only have to wear it three times a week but i do it like every night because honey I cannot afford to have my teeth shift back to what they were. Because your gums have memory. So your gums know how your teeth were. That's what she said. But anyway. So yeah, basically that's just it. You know. That's just that on that. I don't got braces no more. And. Hey. Hey. But anyway, um, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Like I said, I'm going to be consistent with the shits. Because I'm up to date with my schoolwork. I was inconsistent because, guys, it was... Like it was... A lot of just going on but anyway like i said um i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please share guys i'm on 300 and something subscribers now i'm hoping that i'll be on a thousand by the end of the year or before the end of the year so please help me get to a thousand subscribers but yeah bye